update of day number three of the quarantine. Ta-da! Yet again this morning I was so scared of opening the bins and be like, okay, everything's dead today. Um, someone brought to my attention that when the lids are closed, there is no exchange of gas. Well, gladly, uh, for me, these bins were so well made, even though they weren't thinking they were making this for fish. There's holes under each handle here, so there is a certain gas exchange during the night when I close the bins, just because I don't want them to jump out. Uh, the fish seem quite stable and active, much more active. See, you don't even uh, see his gills flapping anymore. Which is like a major victory. He was the worst off, that's why I mostly show him, because the other ones are fine. Um, it's hard to see because it's all like green in here. But uh, let's see him for instance. Well, he's getting bullied by the other one. And if they're fighting, that's a good news. Because that's their normal behavior, just to pick at each other. Um, what about the other tub? Let's look in here what's going on. Um, they're hiding, but I just fed them actually, and um, many of them came out to eat. I guess they were really hungry. Um, so that's that. Um, so uh, I was cleaning out my whole tank because now I'm like, never mind, I'll trash everything inside. I kept the plants, obviously. Um, I'll sanitize them once more with potassium from melanganite. That tank itself, I'll give it a quick dip of um, bleach for 15 minutes. Uh, but that's not really what I want to talk about um, concerning my tank. I had a bit of a concerning issue because this is a second hand tank that I kind of remodeled. Um, so I'm pretty happy to get it clean and check it in all out because I rarely get to see the behind. But behind I saw things that concerned me. The bottom panels, because I remember the previous owner, sorry, I'm going to go behind. The previous owner told me that uh, this <laughs> you probably see my whole mess here. Um, that there was a water infiltration um, into the tank uh, on the stand, and now I can clearly see it. Um, it's I don't know I don't know if it's that concerning. There's zero space for me to work here, um, but it's a bit um, swollen here. I guess I bought it that way, anyways, but. It just concerns me a little bit. Let me know what you think, like if that's like super dangerous. Um, and it's also a tiny bit swollen here. But it's also an older tank. It's about 10, 12 years old. So um, that's that. There was not much more. Um, it's just along that side and that side. Other than that, the tank is leveled and everything's fine. The other corners are fine. It's just really that corner that, excuse me if you don't see anything, <laughs> it's just really that corner that concerns me. So when the hubby's gonna come back from work, um, we're gonna remove the tank off its stand so I can really look at all of the stand everywhere underneath, like where I don't see, because I did um like secure um everything underneath like waterproof but what if there's water underneath the waterproofing you know what i mean um also here i saw some like rear drainage it's not a good sign but it's been like that for two years you know it's just i haven't like really looked at it that closely because now i get to move it around and stuff um so yeah tonight i'm gonna um move, remove the tank off the sand check it all out uh because yeah i need to clear my mind that it's not a concern that it's dry that it's strong uh, make sure it's releveled again i'll probably move it around a little bit um and uh last thing which is <laughs> on the plus side um i always want to get one of those 3d backgrounds but they're so expensive and some of them are not exactly how i want them so I saw this amazing link online for uh, doing 3D backgrounds out of tiles. So I'm gonna go uh, to the hardware store today and look at what kind of tiles they have and perhaps work on my own 3D background. So that's another thing I wanna share with you, you know, like something like fun and inexpensive within the range of like $100 for this size tank. So yeah, I'll, I'll work it through, but for all that, I'll need to move the tank because i'll need to lay it flat on the back side so i can silicone and place these things so it's kind of a, a blessing in disguise this whole shit show sorry for the word but like 
look at my living room. Look, look, look. Like, <laughs> I, sorry, battery had died. Um, yeah, I was saying, um, I really don't know uh, how my hubby really tolerates all this stuff in the living room because it's a lot. Like, we got the couch and we got the tubs. <laughs> like, but it's really temporarily. Hopefully, within the next month, I'll get it sorted out. Um, but you know what? I'm actually really happy I have these tubs. If ever I want to like fix up another tank and we do the silicone or something, I can just put my fish in there. This this is like just the perfect thing, you know. Um, and they're so inexpensive. They were $19.99 at uh, Walmart for like 50 gallon tubs. Let me show you. Maybe you can find the same ones at your Walmart. Uh, it's it's really good. Lifetime warranty. Hey, most aquariums don't give you like lifetime warranty. I love this tub, you know? So yeah, the fish are fine. Um, they're moving around. As you can see, if they're quarreling, they're happy. Um, on the plus side, I just wanted to show you my, uh, my fish named Sweet Pea. <laughs> Where is she? My fish are getting so fat in here. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't know if you saw my video um, like a week and a half ago about my South American cichlids, but look how fat they got since that day. I mean, they're just really big fish. They grow so fast. If you like big fish that grow really, really fast, uh, South Americans, Central Americans, they're like um, the cichlid variety, they grow really fast. And look at Sweet Pea, she got like huge. Um, I must admit I feed them like twice a day, but still. All right guys, I'll see you probably tomorrow with another update. So um, keep following and I'll see you shortly, bye.